All right, Tom. Well, it may be dry in Arkansas, but Hot Spring County is still wet. How can that be? Well, on election night, the county voted to allow the sale of alcohol. THP 11 Sarah Habakowitz shares what that means for the community and surrounding liquor stores. Been a long journey. We had uh, something over 7,000 signatures. After a lengthy petition on election night, Hot Spring County citizens voted to turn the dry county wet. Paul Helberg led the campaign. The Arkansas Economic Development Institute told us that uh, we should expect a 22% reduction in DUIs in the first year because they don't have to drive 30 miles when they can drive three. Local businesses are also excited for the added opportunity. Arkansas Yarn Company in Malvern proudly supported the petition and is already celebrating. And I walked in today just for an interview. I didn't really expect <laughs> that this would be happening. We're excited this is happening. More revenue, commerce, customers, more places to eat out. Owner Lori Helberg says it was worth the risk of any potential backlash. I wasn't afraid of the urban legends. If you support something like this, then they're going to cl close down your business. Stand up and do the right thing for the betterment of your community. But up until now, liquor stores that bordered Hot Spring County were the closest place you could buy alcohol. In Pulaski County, liquor stores like this one saw a similar impact when Saline County went wet eight years ago. <laughs> well, we saw a significant amount of sales decreasing, and since everybody can now sell beer at the gas stations and convenience stores and all that, it kind of took its toll on us. Rafferty's Liquor in Pulaski County has adapted to the changes in clientele, but not all stores fare the same, one even closing down. Pretty much just word of mouth and uh, low prices is what kept us afloat here. But Paul says while there may be growing pains, the change is long overdue. We ran a clean campaign. We just did it the right way. It, it worked. Oh, we've seen this happen time to time in other counties in Arkansas, so it begs the question, what is next now? For well, Hot I'm Spring happy County? to join you here, Craig, to tell you all about it. Now, the campaign says they're not sure exactly what's next, but there is a blueprint because this has happened before with Pulaski and Saline County. So we've seen things like it. But again, it could be new business ventures. It could be new liquor stores popping up. We'll just kind of have to follow and see what happens. And that is part of the story, how that plays out and reverberates in a county. OK, here's the question, though. Did the liquor store you visited have any advice for bordering stores that are now affected by what happened election night? Yeah, so the liquor store I visited is in Little Rock, so that's Pulaski County. So when Saline County went wet, that impacted them. So their advice really was kind of try and weather through it, you know, rely on those regular customers. And they actually changed some of their strategy to focus more on mm -hmm. liquor sales over beer. Uh huh. They're all having to adjust. All right, Sarah, mm -hmm. thanks for your trip, your field trip to Hot Spring County. Yes. Faye. <laughs>